Hey guys, what the heck is going on? Sam here. So we are here with Cooper Barnes, and uh, he's a friend of mine from Locals. And we had it talked about building some kind of Exodia thing. And then on the way to a tournament last week, he's like, hey guys, check out this card, Heart of the Underdog. And everybody knows this card. It's been out for a while. Um, but so what was your idea behind this deck, Cooper? Well, I, I knew that all the Exodia pieces were normal monsters, except for the head. So yeah. if you just play Heart of the Underdog and a bunch of normal monsters, mm -hmm. eventually you're going to draw into most of the pieces of Exodia. Yeah. So you pretty much it's just want to like try to draw into all your draw spells and that kind of stuff early in the game. And then... Uh, that's what I'm for, but... Yeah. Sometimes you can't control that, but... <laughs> you know, our, well, here's the uh, here's the profile. you got three Underdog, one Pot, one Charity, two Upstart... One premature, one swords, and one area B. Which, if anybody doesn't know what this card does, you just change all level four higher monsters to defense position. It's more or less like a uh, ongoing swords of revealing light. So um, it's pretty nice. Uh, one Sangian, we'd run more of that if we could. And then head of Exodia, which is like mainly your Sangian target, right? Yes. Because you don't want to draw on your head. Sangian, your head. That's Ideal. Yeah. Um, all the limbs. Uh, one Millennium Shield. And then you pretty much just play Millennium Shield when you've already got like a wall. But you're just trying to build like a higher wall, I guess. But it can be too cloggy, I guess. So you only want to really want to play one. Uh, and then you all it went in GOAT format, the biggest defense that you could get from like a normal monster without a tribute is 21. So there's nine of them. There's three Apache, three Soul Tiger, three Footballer. And then for the 2000s, there are, it's Stone, Dragon Dweller, uh, three Aquaman Door, three Island Turtle, and then two Elf. And these are all the ones with 2000 with the highest attacks. So this is pretty cool. Cooper was like, hey man, you should like, we should try to build this deck. And that was like a week ago. And then it took us about a week to finally get this final build. But um, we got a replay coming after this. So anything else you want to say about this? Uh, I had a lot of fun playing. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun for you. Probably not fun for your opponent. Yeah, 